I said, what type of system do we have? Don't y'all got that Bose, whatever? That's all I, the whole time the dealer was talking, he probably looked at this young kid, we can get him, we can give him cloth seats, we can give him whatever we want. It's, we, we, can get, we can get him for all types of stuff. He don't even rec recognize the, what we're doing on the back end as far as the payment, because all he care about is the system. And I had a nice system in that car. I was, as I, now, when I first got in it, you get in it, you're driving, I'm booming, I'm pumping it up everywhere I went. I, I'm like, yeah, almost like I'm hopping in the car. Like, like the little, what's the little, little mice that be? Like, like do, da, di, di, di. right? So, so that was me, right? So I'm driving, because I had a little car too. So I'm driving. All right, but I thought about it one day. I said, wait a minute. Like, I had to get out the car. So I was like, I can't sleep in the car. I mean, I can listen to the music, but what am I going to do? Is like, stay in the car and listen to the music? And, and, and I was doing this. I, I wouldn't do this now, but I'm, <laughs> I'm driving down the street. I'm playing music for everybody else. Like, you know, y'all probably bored. I got you. I got you. I just turn on my music, and then that'll entertain y'all. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? My, like, what's up with that? But, but you're, I'm only saying that can't be my life because it's so temporary. And you really don't even know people are dealing with so much stuff. Everybody looking at your car? <laughs> you know, they're going through their own stuff. You know what I'm saying? And they're driving with you. That's a nice car. And that's a wonderful car. But for the most part, they're like dealing with their own stuff. So you can't live for that. That's all I'm saying. I'm saying you can't live for it. Get it. Get, enjoy yourself. You know, get whatever you like. Uh, just don't make it your life, right? Let it be a part of your life. I right, so, okay, so, Jesus. Uh, I right, so something, the kingdom got something to take possession of. Because remember, Paul said, I'm trying to apprehend that which is trying to apprehend me in uh, Philippians 3. Uh, now, now, the interesting thing is, it's something to take possession of but there is qualifications. So our, our reference is 1 Corinthians 6, 9. It says the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God. So, so, so those that don't live, because look, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. But I can't take possession of the kingdom if I'm unrighteous. The scriptures talks about the effeminate, the, 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 the people that are uh, 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 drinkers or people that are tripping, they can't possess the kingdom of God. So, okay, it didn't say they were going to hell. You see, that's, that's the whole thing. That, that's how they get you in the system. The system go, hey, whatever you do, just do what it takes. Don't go to hell. Be good. As long as you ain't killing nobody, you all right. <laughs> don't worry about why you're here. That ain't important. The, point, the important thing is, in our, we cool with you. In our system, we cool with you. Then you ain't bother nobody. You stay to yourself. You ain't got to get all with all those Christian people. They don't know what they, you know, they, they bunch of hypocrites anyway. Just chill. As long as you ain't bother nobody, ain't hurt nobody, you ain't shooting nobody, you ain't killing nobody. You helped somebody this week. I, that, you, that was nice to that person. That was good. Okay, good. That was nice. That was nice. You did something thoughtful. That was good. Good. Gave a couple of dollars to the person who needed a meal. That's wonderful. As long as you just keep your mind off purpose and fulfilling your kingdom responsibility. And we're fine with that. But it said, if you're unrighteous, not lined up with God's way of doing this thing, you won't possess the kingdom. You won't operate in no authority. You're not participating in what you were purposed to do. Uh, change the whole rules then now, huh? Oh, you can just say to yourself, I don't need to participate in that. So why are you here? Why God send you here? You see, so you can't, you can't inherit or you can't take possession of that which you were purposed to participate in. You can't, you can't participate in God's system. So if I can't participate in God's system, then I'm stuck with the world system. And that's been frustrating me. It's limits. I can't do stuff. You know, if I don't have this degree... If I don't act this way, don't talk this way, don't smile this way, don't speak this way, okay, but then I spoke that way, but then this person don't like that I spoke that way, but then I, I switched that to speak like them, but then this person's bothered. Okay, well, I, okay, I change it to conform with them, but now this, the first person's still upset. You can't, that, that, that drives you crazy. You could just be operating normal and be like, who you think you are? Uh, me? <laughs> You know, and then you start second-guessing yourself. Okay, baby, you know, am I, am I like 
Acting different? Different what, Darren? What's different? Uh, guy today at the job said I was something. I don't know what's going on to talk to me. No, you the same, Darren, I know. Maybe you've outlived your stay at that level. You see, it's, it's, so, so it's like we're working so hard to be comfortable in a place that we weren't designed to hang out in. Are oh, we gonna operate in the kingdom now? See, 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 this is this 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 is this is the challenge. The challenge is you can uh you can have a degree and be the best janitor in the building. The only problem is you ain't supposed to be a janitor. Which is sweet though. Lord and your 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 education and your acumen over all the other janitors. Oh, step to the plate. Why, why are you trying to roll with other people that can challenge you and stretch you? And, and Lord knows, may even appreciate you. May give you more than you think you deserve because you don't know you deserve more than they gave you. That's the kingdom life. When we live the kingdom life, do it. You're mad at me because I'm talking about it. Now, I was comfortable, and you're going to be talking about the kingdom life. And everything's going just fine. At least everybody, everybody, everybody in that little corner thought I was special. Now you're going to tell me that I'm supposed to go beyond the corner. Man, I always got to talk about Bible stuff. Preachers. Uh, Ephesians 5. First one, it says, be ye therefore followers of God as dear children and walk in love as Christ also has loved us and has given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling savor. But fornication and the uncleanness and covetousness, let it not be once named among you as becometh saints. It says, neither filthiness nor foolish talking nor jesting, which are not convenient, but rather giving thanks. For this ye know that no whoremonger, nor, nor unclean person, nor covetous man, nor idolater has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. Can't take possession of it. But, 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 but you're cool, though. You still be cool, though. You're fine. I mean, you're not, you know... You're not, you're not somebody that, that, that should be hated or talked about. Lord knows judged. You know, because that's the line. Don't judge me. Lord knows somebody passing sentence on you. So, okay, so nobody will pass sentence on you. And nobody will judge you. And actually, for the most part, you're a good person. But you ain't possessing the kingdom life. So just keep, keep rolling in those limits. See how it works for you. I, so the goal is is to you know to to take goal is to 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 take possession of the life that God wants us to have. So and it talks about being born again. But you notice even when Jesus broke that down, he says you, he said to be you have to be born of water and of the Spirit because he, he shared how just like when these babies was born, they were submerged in water. They were submerged in the element that could sustain them while they were waiting for their time to manifest into another level. But they can't stay in the water forever. They couldn't just, it, it might have been comfortable. And they came out crying. But they had, to, they had to birth themselves into another realm. And so we hanging out in, 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 in atmospheres that may be comfortable. But they're not supposed to be forever. So yeah, that incubator is fine. But the incubator, uh, 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 my buddy Noah back there, he was in the incubator for a while. But... Imagine he was just, well, we don't want to imagine that. But a child in the incubator for like what? Till they're 15? I don't even think they, they don't even design them expecting them to be there that long. But y'all trying to like knock out walls in your, in, in your incubator. Create more space. <laughs> They're like upgrading or something. You're like, yo, my man, I see you leaving the hospital. 
Um, could I borrow your glass? You know, I just I figured I'd make this you know two bedroom. It, it sounds funny, but that's what we're doing in these positions we're in in life. Okay, yeah, I, you can call it fun, but I you know I even called it fun. I hung out in college, you know, a place of fraternity. We we party, we got high, we did all that stuff. Listen, I can't be the, in that incubator all my life. I can't keep ooh. I'm supposed to be elevating to where I'm going. I can't keep going back there because it's comfortable. Guarantee you if I had to roll on campus now, oh man, you doing this, you had that, you doing this. Are you kidding me? There are kids on campus. I'm 50. <laughs> I'm just... Like, we, we, we're trying to hold on to that life. The scripture says, forget the things that are behind you. Press towards the mark of the prize. The kingdom life. <laughs> so there. Uh, it's all about sustaining the life of your spirit by maintaining the environment it's used to, therefore obtaining taking possession of the kingdom of God on earth. So when God says, don't forsake the assembling of yourselves together, he's trying to keep us in an atmosphere that can sustain our spiritual life, our real, that spirit man. And, and, and what he, he wants us to maintain that atmosphere and, until we break into the place where we're supposed to rule and reign. The scripture says all creation is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God, waiting for us to rule and reign. We have this authority and other people are running stuff. You know, uh, every time I tell a story, I use uh, the Lion King. So you had, Simba was supposed to be the next ruler of the kingdom. Stay focused. All right, so. <laughs> uh, <laughs> my bad. Uh, Simba was supposed to be the next ruler. But you had Scar that was trying to take over. No, 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 no. Look, he was trying to take over a throne that he wasn't designed to have. He was trying to take over a throne he wasn't designed. He was trying to operate in somebody else's kingdom, thinking he was going to have authority. So he takes over the kingdom because it looked wonderful. So what he wanted was what he saw, right? Yeah, birds flying, uh, animals, gazelles leaping, all the color. When he took over, it went from color to black and white, gray. You saw skeletons all over the place. Everybody was leaving the kingdom. Because it wasn't his to rule. So he didn't, ex he didn't experience what he saw his brother experience. Because that wasn't a place for him to rule. He had, it, he, he had his own king. Why are you trying to take somebody else's kingdom? Get yours. All right, so then Simba was supposed to be, inherit the kingdom. So he scared him, and he goes out into the jungle. He got into fear. He lost his hope. He was hopeless. He's out in the jungle playing around with bugs and and stuff like that. I mean, eating bugs. I mean, he's supposed to be the next king. And, and the whole time he was, in, he was in the jungle, he saw himself as a little cub. But he had grown into being a lion. He had an improper image of himself. He didn't see himself as a king. He saw himself as a little cub. Then, it, then of course, the monkey knocks him on the head and says, uh, you're more than you become. He says, you don't know who you are, do you? Then he shows him the water. He sees a reflection of himself. That's the first time he saw himself looking like his dad. Saw himself as a king. So he goes back and he takes over the kingdom. Of course, the color comes back. All creation is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. He's in right position. He's where he's supposed to rule. He wasn't supposed to be out there in the jungle playing, going to parties, kicking it. Yeah, he wasn't supposed to be doing that. He's supposed to be ruling. That has a whole lot more uh, thirst quenching power on it than to be out there in isolation. He was supposed to be around a family of, and families and people pushing and people growing and people experiencing things, people being touched by his wisdom and his leadership. But he's out there with two little fellas that were playing around. The, the, they conquered a tree that they turned over to get bugs. Wow. But that's how some of our lives has been going. Right? All creation is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. 